ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪದ ದ್ವಂದ್ವ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿಂದ ಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ನಂದ ನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕಾಚರೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನೋ ಸಮಯೂತ ಬಿಂದಾಬನ ಮನೋಹರ ಬಂಶಾಕಲ್ಪತರುವಶ್ಯ ಕಿ ಪಾಸಿಂಧು ಬಿಭಶ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೇಭ್ಯ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲ ಪಂಗುಂಗ್ಲಂಘೈತಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂ ವಂದೆ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾವಿ ತುಳಸಿದೈಪಿಯಾ ವೈ ಕೇಶವ ಸಷ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿಪದೇ ದೇವಿ ಸ್ವತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂಚೈವ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವೀಂ ಸ್ವರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತೋಜೋ ಮುದೀರ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರಿ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಏಂ ಗುರುಪಸನೈಕಭಕ್ತ ವಿದ್ಯಾಕುಠರೇನ ಸಿತೇನ ಧೀರ ಬಿಭ್ರಿಶ್ಚ ಜೀವಾ ಸ್ವಯಮಯ ಅಪ್ರಮತ್ತ ಸಂವೃಶ್ಚ ಆತ್ಮನ ಅಥೋ ತ್ಯಜ ಅಸ್ತ್ರ ಶಿಲ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಸಿದ್ಧಾಂತ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ಗೋಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಠಾಕುರ ಪ್ರಭುಪಾತ್ ಚೌಲ್ ಎಸೋಸಿಯೇಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಟು ಡೆಲಿವರ್ ಎ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಟು ಡೆಲಿವರ್ ಎ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೋರ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ದೆನ್ ಮೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಥೌಸಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಹಾಸ್ಪಿಟಲ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇನ್ ದೋಸ್ ಮೆಟ್ ಇನ್ ದೋಸ್ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಹಾಸ್ಪಿಟಲ್ಸ್ you can get material treatment for your body mind but in contact with a real sadhu genuine sadhu if you can get a proper association that association that association can deliver you from this material condition forever it can give you liberation for ever actually i am going to discuss about the shloka i already told you just now but before that actually uh, in seventh canto actually in seventh canto bhagavatam sri pallad maharaj advising those friends in school sukham indriyakam daityaha deho yogena dehinam sarvatra labhate yasmat yatha dukham ajatnatah ho my friends don't be busy with material enjoyment because this because this material enjoyment you can enjoy in any life in any life because this is a must nobody can avoid material enjoyment directly or indirectly directly or indirectly everybody enjoying so sukham that kind of pleasure enjoyment sense uh, actually you are getting enjoyment through your sense organs so pullad maharaj so pullad maharaj advising 
सुखम ऐन्द्रियम दैत्य देहो योगी न देहीन सर्वत्र लभ्यति यस्मा यथा दुखम अयत्नात एक्चुअली नो बडी एक्सपेक्ट दैट ऑल प्रॉब्लम ऑल प्रॉब्लम कमिंग ऑन मी नो बडी कैन एक्सपेक्ट दे ऑल प्रॉब्लम कमिंग ऑन मी आई एम सफरिंग आई नीड टू साफर नो बडी वंथ बट स्टील यू यू नेवर एक्सपेक्ट मेटेरियल सफरिंग यू नेवर एक्सपेक्ट मेटेरियल सफरिंग स्टील मेटेरियल सफरिंग कमिंग इन टू योर लाइफ Still, material suffering can coming into your life, is it? So, don't be busy with material enjoyment. You must be very careful. You must be very intelligent to save you from this material condition, poor, this poor condition, this poor condition. This poor condition is very bad. Actually, in seventh canto, it is written, mm. the one should start Hari Bhajan, Hari Bhajan, right from childhood. It is written there in Bhagavatam. Ah. One should start Hari Bhajan in childhood. Prahlad Maharaj advising them that if you start Hari Bhajan, then you can enjoy the transcendental pleasure, and in eleventh canto, we find a nice advice there. The jano asthayo naraha na pramadeta kahirchit dhava nimilito va netre na patet na skale diyo. What is called Bhagavad Dharma? What do you mean by Bhagavad Dharma? Can you explain what is Bhagavad Dharma? Why you insist me to follow Bhagavad Dharma? Why? What is the benefit I am going to get out of it? it is written in 11th canto that if you grasp bhagavad dharma bhagavad dharma if you grasp bhagavad dharma suppose one current of water coming and, and you are going you cannot you cannot save yourself somehow you somehow you come in contact with the branches of a tree branch you catch it heavily you catch it heavily and that current cannot throw you out now you are saved now you are saved this way it is written that if you can if you can catch bhagavad dharma properly if you can if you can trust on bhagavad dharma properly then it is written that even a blind man even a blind man he cannot see where he is going he can be saved he can be saved very easily what does it mean dhavan nimilito ban netre he is running closing his eyes ah eyes is not open still still he is not going to meet with any fatal any problem because that bhagavad dharma can save you can save you actually uh, point is that the meaning of this shloka you must understand it is written suppose you have suppose you have some interest fraud for fruitive activities suppose suppose you have some interest for fruitive activities suppose you have some attention for uh, some from from for material benefits this that 
still 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 if you 100% believe on bhagavad dharma then you can cut out all this barrier and and ultimately you can go to that transcendental world dharmano bhagavatano dharmano bhagavatani ho mane it is written in seventh canto that when you you should stall bhagavad dharma in when you are you are child only you can stay sat because it is the property of your soul the natural property of your soul the natural property of your soul is to love krishna supreme lord but it cannot so happen because you are in illusion you are in illusion naturally it is the na- it, it is by papa telling it is the natural function of your soul that you should that you should love krishna but you cannot love krishna because because you are in maya illusion so you cannot love krishna maya covering your consciousness maya covering your consciousness that's why you cannot see that's why you cannot see what is you cannot see the absolute truth that's why you cannot see the absolute truth actually so the shloka from bhagavata i told first there it is written that if you can cut all your ignorance if you can cut if you can how you can cut ignorance maya how illusion mean ignorance and and veloping power eh how you can how you can how you can conquer this maya how you can get rid of maya that's why i told the first shloka it is written evam guru pasanaik bhakta vidya kuthare no sitye no dhira bibrishya jiva swayamayam apramatta apramatta sangbrishya atmanam atho tejyastam is it written if you can do nice guru seva tremendous affinity for gurudev tremendous tremendous love for gurudev if with this love you can if you if you can if you can do guru seva then uh, then you can cut maya because guru seva mean you are going to gain transcendental knowledge spiritual knowledge which can help you cutting maya that is the procedure if you are less interested to do guru vishnu of seva if you are less interested to guru vishnu of seva then there is no way for you there is no way for you to understand that transcendental thing to go to cut maya and go there no procedure actually today today is a special day today is a special day our guru varga one one of our guru varga sisila nitula sisila nitula pavishto sisila bhakti kumud santogu sri maharaj he took birth this 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 vaishnava calendar i mean tithi according to this vaishnava this so so we are going to honor this day so we are going to honor this debt why because if we give if i if we express honor for this tithi 
then I am kind going to conquer Maya. This is the procedure. If you can discuss all about Bhagavan Sri Krishna, avataras of Krishna, all different avataras of Krishna, even you discuss about the glory about the glorification of his transcendental name. If you discuss all about the glorifications of Guru Vaishnava, all those can help you to establish in bhajan, to get established in bhajan. Now one question coming. We heard bhakti is the internal potency Bhakti is the expression of the internal potency of Bhagavan Sri Krishna. And it is completely transcendental. Material seva is not equal with transcendental seva. Now question is that we are all material now. We are trying to do bhajan. But still our sense organ Mind, everything material? Still, we are trying, but still material. We cannot get in contact with that transcendental one. Then how can I believe that I can start bhakti? Just you told that bhakti is transcendental. In material condition, how I can start bhakti? Then, this question coming. Then Jiva Goswami Pad answering, Well, man, I know, we know Bhakti is the expression of internal potential of Bhagavan Sri Krishna. It means with strong affinity we like to do something for Krishna, Guru Vishnu, Harinam. We like to do Parikrama for Dham. All we like. But point is that now I am material. How to start? Jibogu Sinipat answering, Well man, there is one procedure. What is that procedure? Suppose I give you one piece of iron. Iron. So iron, it is, it is black. It is black in color. It is black in color. But suppose if if I put if I put this piece of iron into fire into fire, then after some time then ira, iron in that iron piece you cannot find any blackness. You cannot find any blackness in iron. It automatically convert get converted. It get converted into some other color, like golden, molten gold, uh, glowing. At the same time, if you can get out that piece of iron from fire, you can touch. You can touch with anybody, anything like like cloth or anything. It can get burnt. It. It can get burnt because iron getting iron already getting this power from from fire. Iron that iron piece getting this power from the uh, from that fire. Uh, actually, iron piece he cannot actually in normal condition uh, iron piece cannot burn you. In normal condition, I, that iron piece cannot burn you. If I touch here, can it burn? It cannot burn. But it has received this property from fire. At the same time, that iron piece in glowing state, if I, if I put in any dark room, it can emit some light also. So, 
you are getting light you are getting you are getting burning power you are getting this total property changed but actually that iron piece it it that iron piece is useless it, it cannot uh, we with contact with that uh, fire get it. so uh, the actually jiva goshi pa telling do you are material i know you are material you are trying to do hari naam hari katha you are hearing so jiva goshi pa then sorry if you have the scope of proper association if you have the scope of a, of a proper association then in contact with guru vishnab you can get this power like iron piece automatically you are getting power if you are if you are coming in front of guru vishnab if you are hearing hari katha you are doing kirtan because after hearing hari katha then you can do kirtan without hearing of a transcendental hari katha you cannot do kirtan because all power of sankirtan coming through perceptual channel perceptual channel directly you cannot get that power directly you cannot get that power understand sila santugusi maharaj he took birth in minnapur one district in west uh, west bengal there he took birth in a big family landlord family eh so many opulences many 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 so many man still 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 actually sir santugu sri maharaj was interested with hari bhajan because his father mother his father mother uncle they all took initiation from sila bhakti siddhant saraswati goswami prabhupada so the, so that family condition was very pure very pure at the same time one nice radharaman vigraha was there in their house so from childhood he is taking prasadam looking krishna hearing all about krishna and one thing you should remember santugusi maharaj's uncle yeah he was so nice doing so nice kirtan his uncle he was a great personality he used to do nice kirtan even prabhupad used to do, bless him well you are doing nice kirtan go on go on at present we need mic to do kirtan but that time no mic facility was there still so nice kirtan because you are doing kirtan from mouth but a genuine devotee doing kirtan from heart has some difference <laughs> so santugusi maharaj naturally came in contact with different devotees from gauriamat actually so naturally he was attracted his father told him well if you like to do bhajan you can go then santugusi maharaj came in gauriamat he saw pahupat bhakti siddhant sun he was just town to see the appearance to 
to see the divine appearance of Srila Prabhupada. So powerful feature. Then Prabhupada bless him. Well, what, well, what for you have come? Prabhupada, I like to do Hari Bhajan. Well, can you do Hari Bhajan? Yes, I can. If you bless me, I can do Hari Bhajan. Well, what kind of seva you can do? Prabhupada, I can do any seva. I can do any seva if you bless me. Well, you can do any seva? You can do any seva? Yes, I can do any seva. Then, he was initiated in, by Harinam, Diksha, everything done. Then, after some time, Prabhupada was thinking, that small boy is with vigorous energy. Then he sent Radharaman Mamachari. His name was Radharaman Mamachari. Uh, by Prabhupada. Prabhupada gave this name. Uh, Radharaman, can you go to Thailand? I mean Samdesh, Samdesh. Uh, Barma, Barma actually. Barma. Uh, I mean East. Uh, eastern portion of India. Near, uh, Japan, j not Japan actually, uh, more near to India. One Ireland, one nice Ireland there, Ireland. Iceland, Ireland. <laughs> there. So, Radharaman telling, well, I can go. If you send me for preaching there, we can go. Don't, then there, in, in Barma, Shamdes, nice preaching was started. And Radharman Mumajari was very energy. And many Bengali family, they used to live there. At present situation, I cannot tell. But that time, because that time, most of the people used to stay there, all Bengali family. Most of them. So Radharaman Mamachari with uh, with nice energy, he uh, he used to he used to beg for Goryamat Bhiksha Bhiksha. One day one day Radharaman Mamachari uh, going to one one, nine, one sweet shop because uh, Radharaman Mamachari used to go door to door for begging. Actually, actually begging of Harinam. Like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu already, already instructing Haridas and Nityananda Babu. Ho Haridas, ho Nityananda, please go door to door and beg for Harinam for. It is my instruction to you. Similarly, similarly, Prabhupada he instructed the uh, Radharaman to go and beg for Harinam. So, many times before he went to that sweet shop, many times before. But today, that shopman, old man, shopman, he is joking with Radhanaman. Radhanaman, you are coming here, you are doing Krishna Bhajan, but uh, you, should, you should think that, that uh, Mata, Mataji, Mataji, I mean Kali, Kali, uh, is uh, most, you see, you, uh, he sees mother. You cannot ignore. You cannot. You cannot ignore your mother. Radhaman told, "No, I am not going to ignore mother because you are worshiping Mataji, uh, Devi, Devi. She is the external manifest, ex external potency of Bhagwan Sri Krishna." We are, uh, soy, we are respecting everybody. We actually worship 
internal potency of Krishna. That is called Yogamaya. But that, that Yogamaya manifest her figure, feature in front of you as Kali. Mahamaya. Actually, we also worship, but we worship Yogamaya. That is the difference. And that soap man, he had so affinity for Devi uh, that he used to used to utter Devi Devi Nam Nam every second fraction second Ma 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 always. <laughs> then in his shop. There is so many kind of soap, sweet there. In a sweet soap, you can find different kinds of sweets. One is this kind of rasgulla, rasagulla, this kind of card, 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 dahi, dahi, card. You can get some uh, sandesh, I mean dry, uh, dry sweets. That soap man was, was so fanatic so fanatic, mad, that he used to call a sweet name, you see, uh, they, suppose, uh, different sweets. If you go and ask Rasugulla, give me some uh, sweet, sweet ball, he cannot answer it. If you say, I need, I am a sweet, I am a sweet, come on my mother, they, you give this name. Uh, if, what kind of sweet you need? I need, I need, I need, I need, I am a, I am a sweet. I need, I, I want jama sweet. I, I want, bo, I mean, I, I want boshma, boshma sweet. Uh, sit, my mother sit. This kind of name he used to say. Then, then Santogu Singh Maharaj, uh, that day, he is putting argument with that soap man. Well, man, you are not, you are not going to worship Krishna. You are only calling, you are only calling ma, 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 mother, mother. So when you die, then all people carrying you in a chariot with. Then what they call? Balahari, Haribol. Balahari, Haribol. Ram Nam, Satya hai. When, when any people dying in India, if somebody carry, carry that dead body up to the crematorium ground, firing place, all the way they call Balahari, Haribol. Balahari, Haribol. Then Santumaraj, Santumaraj joking. You are calling mother, 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 mother. Okay. Why not that? Why not that time you call mother, mother? Why you call Balahari? Why you call Balahari, Haribol? Eh? You should call mother, 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 ma, ma. But that time you are calling Balahari, Haribol. Uh, then that man was defeated. <laughs> then he confessed that Hari Krishna is Supreme Lord. Actually, actually, Santagosi Maharaj actually learned many things from his God brother, senior God brothers. Sila Santagosi Maharaj always think. That my Guru Maharaj, actually Sila Bhakti Pramod Puri Goswami Maharaj, he is my, uh, he is my shik, Shiksha Guru. Always think, Santa Goswami Maharaj. Uh, when Prabhupada disappeared, some problem took place in society. That time, that uh, Radharaman Bhamachari, he could not adjust with the situation 
but it was very typical situation. And he was boy, small boy. So somebody advised him, oh, oh man, Brahmachari, you must go back to home. Because you cannot, you cannot tolerate that kind, this kind of problem. So Santagosi Maharaj went, to, went back to his home for some days. But my Guru Maharaj and Bhakti Hidra Banodev Goswami Maharaj, both of them went to his, their house. There, they find Santagosi Maharaj there. Why you come back here at home? Well, this is the situation. You should not stay at home. You are enjoying the full kripa of Pahupad. So you must do preaching. So you must come with us. <laughs> then my Guru Maharaj and Bhakti Hida Banadev Goswami Maharaj bring this boy uh, lad back again in Gauriyamat. They somehow they somehow guided him. So in the meantime, he went on hearing Harikatha and speaking Harikatha all the time. Because his Santagusri Maharaj's Kirtan was so powerful, so powerful, if any people hearing Santagusri Maharaj's Kirtan, his heart is going to melt down. Ah. At the time of Ratha Yatra, Srila Bhaktivedita Madhav Goswami Maharaj, my Guru Padma Srila Bhakti Pramod Puri Goswami Maharaj, and Srila Bhakti Kumu Santu Goswami Maharaj, they want to do a nice teamwork, Kirtan and Harikatha. In front of thousands of people. That preaching was... That preaching was so powerful, you cannot imagine. Even Srila Bhakti Vallabh Tittu Goswami Maharaj, we have seen him doing Kirtan at the time of Go Parikrama, Navadip Parikrama. You cannot believe what kind of ecstatic feeling we have seen in Srila Bhakti Vallabh Tittu Goswami Maharaj. What kind of dancing? Hari bol, hari bol, hari bol, hari bol, hari bol, hari You cannot expect. You are unlucky. You cannot see. But still you are lucky. Because you have come in contact with that kind of gigantic spiritual figure like Sila Bhakti Vala I am very happy. I am very happy. Because you have relation with Tithu Goswami Maharaj. Yeah. But you should do seva like, you must try to do seva like Sri Santu Goswami Maharaj. Otherwise I cannot love you. Understand? Harinam, Kirtan, hearing Harikatha, staying with Gurudev, huh? we, we can visit Gurudev, but we must do Guru Sheva. I am also doing he no? all day and night, all paper, all the time. So we must do nice Guru Sheva, you see. We cannot imagine what kind of love Santu Gusti Maharaj had for us. He used to love us. He was so powerful, so neutral. Neutral. No partiality. No partiality. Huh. No partiality. What is truth? That is truth. Uh, at present, we cannot find that kind of... If, if somebody loves somebody, if he is doing any aparad, well, well, he, well, well, he is... Then somebody coming, he is not doing any aparad, you are doing aparad. He will speak all... Ah. 
he will speak wrong against me. But Santokoshi Maharaj was most neutral and like lion, like lion. He never fear anybody. He never fear anybody, actually. Uh, he can protest. He can protest against anybody. Hey, you are doing wrong. Why you are doing it? Actually, when my Guru Maharaj was in last stage, when my Guru Maharaj was in last stage, uh, when my Guru Maharaj was manifesting last time Lila, last time Lila, then regarding any Siddhanta, any decision, if any problem is there, then I used to go to Sira Santagusi Maharaj. Maharaj, somebody fight with me who, uh, uh, regarding this Siddhanta. Now I am requesting you. You must speak uh, what is true. My, my Siddhanta. My Siddhanta is right or his Siddhanta? Siddhanta no. You, you go on reading two, two writings. You go on. Then I am, I am reading because I was acting as edit, edit, editor. And my age was, my age was not, not uh, sufficient. So naturally, senior person, they can fight with me if I change, if I change their writing. So I was in problem. I find this Siddhanta is wrong. Still I cannot change. Because my age was not sufficient. They can fight with me. So what I do, you see, I take their writing with me and I take my Siddhanta in written form. I take both to Santagosi Maharaj. Then I don't speak anything to Santagosi Maharaj. Maharaj, I am going to read, read two Siddhanta. Uh, you must speak what is, what is correct or what is wrong. Then Santagosi Maharaj will uh, go on reading. I am hearing. Then I am speaking that Siddhanta and this Siddhanta. Both. Then when I am, when I am speaking or wrong Siddhanta written by that senior per person, devotee, then Santagosi Maharaj, hey, stop, stop, stop. Who write it? Okay, Maharaj, what problem? Actually, this Siddhanta is not perfect. Okay, Maharaj, now, now I am going to read another Siddhanta, which I compile, write. Then I read. I don't speak, I am writing. I never speak. So when I read this Siddhanta, Acha Maharaj, can you, can, you, can you approve this Siddhanta is right? Approve this Siddhanta? You go on reading. Then I read. Well, right. Now, this Siddhanta, okay. Then, with a laughing mood, I come and edit, and edit, and edit that writing. Without any fear, I publish that magazine. In then, after if somebody attacking me, hey, why you change my writing? Why you change my writing? Only, excuse me. Excuse me. Actually, I, I, actually, I don't change it. Actually, Sila Santogusi Maharaj changed this. Then he become frightened. Well, Santo Maharaj changing? Yes. <laughs> then he has nothing to, nothing to fight with me. This way, this way, I was bound to check it up by Santo Goswami Maharaj. Any Siddhanta, any writing. So, I was, I was enjoying full Kripa of Sila Santo Goswami Maharaj. He write, sometime he writing letter to me. 
if i show that letter later that kind of letter you can go mad so nice letter so much blessing long years before 15 years or 14 years back when i was doing in when i was doing bhajan in surya kundo surya kundo near radha kundo actually some some, some problem took place in our march for some for some time i was doing bhajan there santosh singh maharaj santosh singh maharaj blessing me blessing me in that writing he is telling you have you have a big responsibility for gauriya vishnu society i don't know i i know nothing how i can do seva then santosh singh maharaj long ago 15 years back he is blessing in letter and that and that that on those blessing on those blessings now now i see everything coming true everything coming true he blessed me 15 years back now i feel everything okay now all his blessings all true ha all protest not different kind of society seva i mean boys of society seva so this way i am enjoying santogosi ma telling you have a big responsibility you have big responsibility for dham seva you must be very careful i bless you because you have genuine genuine desire you have genuine desire for hari bhajan sai bless you nobody can make any problem for you understand ha uh. so this way if, if i go on speaking hari katha about santosh singh maharaj non stop hari katha non stop hari katha i cannot stop but still i must stop because we need to go to behala mentor at the bhajan kutir of sila santosh singh maharaj to to pay our obeisances floral tribute and to the lotus feet of sila santosh singh maharaj ha on this day is very important day advent ceremony of sila santosh singh maharaj ha so this is most important so we must stop now we have so many thing to speak we can discuss later even that day i was speaking about sila bhakti the banodev go singh maharaj but time was not time was limited at the same time some problem created in the rooftop so i could not complete my soft speech so i am very sorry what to do if you can arrange for me nice hari katha situation then by the blessings of sila bhakti wala tithu go singh maharaj i can go on speaking hours go on speaking hours speak for uh, for hours i can speak bancha kalpadurvasya ki pasind bevacha pati thanang pavana bhavishya bhyo namo namo